morning everyone, it's 11.30 almost, Ash is up, just having a little bit of lunch which consists of two little bits of sausage roll, what I go mad for, and two little bits of pork pie. See mum, they're not the massive ones, oh, and of course a cup of cheese and onion, and a big old cup of tea. Ash is just uh, having a bagel downstairs, I said oh that sounds like a good idea, have a bagel with cream cheese last one I only bought them a few days ago <laughs> so I guess I have to go back to the grocery store <coughs> there again I'd rather them be eating eaten than not eaten I find sometimes I buy things and I end up throwing it out and that really irks me so and then we're gonna put those baskets together before she goes to work and I have Katie so just check the emails downstairs nothing pressing right now so I'm just going to watch some YouTube, charging up my iPad because I didn't realize how low it was. Let's see what it's on now. Got to keep up with my words with f words with friends because I kind of drop the ball on it and then it resigns me. Yeah, it's on 84 right now. So. All right, guys, going to drink my cup of tea while it's nice and hot, and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hope everyone's having a good. What is it? Wednesday and EastEnders is actually on tonight. I just checked channel 21 WLIW and it's on 10 to 11 so that's good. Alright, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. It's on my lap and Roxy decides to give him a swipe. I think she thought she was a cat for a second. So Louie's a little bit upset. Oh, he's leaving. And this little ragamuffin. You've got to be nice to Lou. He did nothing at all. Right? Are you sorry? Worse than kids sometimes. Hello. All right, just had to share. Lou's gone off now because he's not happy. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye, guys. It's the before shot. Ready? Okay, mm -hmm. creative one. There's one. Ash did. That looks good, Ash. Oop. No, I knocked that. That's okay. It's good, right, Rox? And there's the Avon basket. Louis, why are your ears perking up? You want Avon? You like Avon? Guys, it's 25 past 3. Just waiting for Katie to come. Uh, Ash has left for work. She's dropping off her uh, Avon delivery for me on the way because I just got the Avon in yesterday, so I bagged all those up. The lady who wanted the Avon basket loves it. Sorry, TV's awfully loud. I hate to say it, and my mum had sent me a card, didn't you, mum? For Christmas, for Pete and I, with some cash in it that she changed over to dollars. And she sent it the same day as I. And this always happens to us, not always happens to us, but Ashley's card came last Monday, so a week, a week this Monday, so Ashley's came nine days ago. Pete's birthday card came, Mum always mails them all together, and Pete and mine's Christmas card hasn't made it yet, and um, we're a bit worried because it has money in it. Um, we always find like when we mail cards back and forwards, if we mail them all together, they somehow they always get split up anyway. And um, we're a bit concerned about this one, like I said, because it has money in it. And I feel bad, Mum, because I know it bothers you. And so we don't know if Mum's card is just stuck on the boat, stuck on the plane, or whether it went into the wrong address and someone's enjoying mum's hard-earned money as a Christmas gift. The only thing I can say is if someone else has it, I hope they really need it. And it's not just some schlep who's opening up, schlep, schlep, schmuck. My, my dad's favorite word was schmuck. We taught him that. We're so proud. Um, whether someone just opens up random cards in the hopes of finding stuff. Yeah. What is the answer? No presents needed, that's the answer. But anyway. I'll let you know, Mum, if it comes. Sorry, I have my my back is really bad today and I can't even hold my arms out with this camera for long. 
So I'm just waiting for Kate. It's 3.30. I haven't even seen her van pull up yet. So she should be here. I keep looking out the window, sorry, because every time it's uh, school lets out, and we have an elementary school right down the street and the high school. So I'm just, all the kids are walking back and forwards and cars and stuff, so just keeping my eye out for her truck, because when her van drops her off, she goes in, she has her bloods tested, because she has diabetes, and then she comes on over. So I know I have about 10 minutes once she gets here, so I can hold on to my puppies. Otherwise they run out the door. So I just took them out and did all that good stuff. So I'm all prepared. Pete should be home. I think around 6.30. He's at Consumers. He's not sure if he's going to be there tomorrow. They're pretty much, everything's closing up for the end of the year, uh, for Christmas now. Got some nice cards in the mail today though. Some really pretty ones. The wall's filling up. So we've gone up. This is my English side. So we're going up and over, and then I put them on the insides. I never do the string. I used to do the strings, but the strings fall down. So I've got them just around this little archway here. And lots of, I cannot get over these. This is a guy Pete used to work with a long time ago in Connecticut. And these are his three kids and their dog. I cannot believe. Beautiful family, all grown up. So there's some more there, now we started going over here and then on the basement door put some on here as well. Thank you Kay. Thank you everybody for taking the time to send us these cards. We love them. So, I wish I could get another bow like that instead of the plain one but for next year I got this one from the Christmas tree shop way back so I need to get another one to match and I never found my little silver potpourri to go in this. So the Roxy's enjoying the tree. You miss Ash when she goes, don't you? Hey? Ashley left you. She has. And then little Lou. When I'm standing and walking around, they always wonder what I'm doing. Hi right, guys. Well, we will touch base with you later. I'll let you know how the rest of the day went. Tomorrow Ash is working and Pete may not be working. If Pete's not working, maybe I'll run up to the mall in the morning and get a little bit more shopping done tonight. What time is Ash working tonight? Get some more things wrapped. And then I got, oh, I, I promised my sister and I'd let her know. Um, Ash is working till 10.30. She and I have got a nail appointment Friday morning. And then she's working Saturday and she's off Sunday think she's off Sunday. She said it was all changing, so I have to check that out. And I think she's on Christmas Eve until 6, 6 p.m. But then she said, I don't know if it's Boxing Day or the 27th that she's working an overnight. She has a long shift. I always feel like poor Ash gets the overnights right after the holiday. She worked Thanksgiving night. 13 hours and then she worked the day after Thanksgiving 16 hours it's a lot of hours but and overnights are tough because it takes a while for your body to get back into the swing of things doesn't it all right my dears my dears oh I am old I will talk to you later bye okay Miss Katie's van is here 10 minutes up oh, there she goes watching million dollar what is this million dollar uh, me? I can't think. The real estate people in California. Million dollar. <laughs> All right, now it's bugging me. I have to figure out what it is because I feel like an idiot. Let's see. Million dollar listing. How can I forget? Ooh la la. Pete just got home. He. Ran over to Stu Leonard as a surprise. I got oh, this is great. This chicken with peppers and onions, stuffed loaf. And these have been my favourite. So these will be for lunch tomorrow. Not all of them. The ham and Swiss croissants are the absolute best. Don't like these. These are Pete's favourite. He usually gets himself two, but he said three was only a dollar more. It doesn't look very colourful, but it's lobster roll. And then what I do with the stuffed chicken, it goes in here. And I'm just heating up the soup in here. I'm so 
happy. I love soup and that kind of thing. So that's in a mag. I'm just watching Dr. Phil. It was on, I think it was yesterday's episode where he goes to talk to some of the parents from the town in Connecticut um, with the, where the shooting was last Friday. And I've just been bawling my eyes out as he's talking to the parents of survivors but what they're going through and the kids and they're talking about the teacher and one of the little kids, her son was in the class where the woman put them in the closet and um, it's just heart-wrenching. I still cannot stop thinking about them. But uh, anyway, let me go eat something, get you all depressed and I will talk to you all in a little bit. Bye guys. It's steaming. I kind of uh, left it in the panini maker a little bit too long. I was talking to you guys. So, soup looks good. It says tomato. I think it says tomato pepper jack. Right, Roxy? Looks good. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Guys, I'm going to end this. I um, don't really have anything different to say from what I said earlier on today. So it's 10 to 9, just had some dinner, it was really good. Pete had bought that soup I was telling you. It was really peppery. <laughs> Burnt my tongue, had to take a break from it, but it was good. It was nice to have soup and then that chicken and onion breaded thing, that was good. But um, yep, Ash is at work. Pete's now back in his office editing. I've got laundry going. I'm keeping up on it now. I cleaned the top of the refrigerator off, got rid of a lot of the... I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, there's a lot of crackers and cereals and chips and stuff up on top of the fridge. I cleaned through it today because a lot of it was old and no good and it's recyclable night. So I just took out the two recyclable bins and about eight boxes, cardboard boxes, and uh, three of them were filled with all old Avon books. So I just got rid of a bunch of stuff. Feels good to do a clean out. You can actually see the floor in my little office down there which I have to clean out for uh, putting coats and stuff on Christmas Day and that's about it nothing else new Pete's dad's still on schedule for coming home Christmas Eve um, Pete's gonna go into consumers for a few hours tomorrow to um, work on some of the files from the job he did today and then I think he's home then till Christmas he's working a Christmas party tomorrow night um, I forget where that is, it's in Connecticut somewhere, so he'll be coming home for a little bit and then going off to the Christmas party to shoot that for them. Um, he hasn't done a Christmas party in a while because a lot of companies do lunches now or um, things like that. They don't actually have photographers at an actual party, so this will be different for him. It's been a couple of years, two or three years since he's done one. so. Uh, it's going to be a long day for him tomorrow and then Friday Ash and I have plans and we're going to go up to Woodbury Commons doubt if Pete will come but there again you never know he was going to come on Sunday with us so we'll see but that's it guys so I hope everyone had a great Wednesday I'm going to go now watch this Christmas movie called The Christmas Consultant it was on Lifetime the other day I DVR'd it maybe it was today had a few things taping during the day today and then I'm going to make some room on the DVR for EastEnders to tape. I like to watch my things after the fact. Not that they put commercials in between EastEnders, they don't. They just play the 30 minutes and there's two on, one right after the other. But all these other things, I can zip right through the commercials and not be bothered. So, alrighty, well now I'm rambling. I'm going to go get changed, watch this. Deciding on tea, coffee or hot chocolate. Maybe I'll wait a little bit and wait for the soup to go down and then decide what I want. Alrighty, talk to you in a bit guys. Bye.